We were just holding hands on that 50 yard line and just saying, okay, we were just praying. And then uh, my daughter Kendall had told me earlier that day that she had a vision of that long pass. And then when it actually happened, it was just like so overwhelming. We were just so astounded what God did for us and uh, for him and that team. And on December 8th, after the final seconds ticked down on the scoreboard in Legion Field, it was Coach Monty Coleman and the UAPB Golden Lions who triumphed over the Jackson State Tigers 24-21 in overtime. That day, the Lions, led by a man described as a man of faith and integrity, roared into the history books and solidified themselves as champions. As I looked at the, uh, the Western Division in the SWAC, we were the only team on the West that had never won a SWAC championship. The only team. And now, we can't say that. We're, we're amongst all the greats, the Southerns, the Jacksons, excuse me, and the Gramlins, and uh, the Texas Southern. Uh, we, we, we've also won a SWAC championship. So a native Pine Bluffian, Coleman was a walk-on for the UCA Bear football team, although he never played football on a high school level. He made history in 1979 when he was the first UCA Bear to be drafted into the NFL. Coleman played with the Washington Redskins for over two decades, earning three Super Bowl rings in the process. During his time with the Redskins, he met his wife of 30 years, Mrs. Yvette Coleman, and after years of living and raising their three children, Kendall, Kyle, and Jasmine, in another region of the U.S., Coleman, always a man of faith, felt compelled to move back home to Pine Bluff. With his family, the Lord told us to move here to Pine Bluff, and he uprooted everything from TV, radio, to uh, being a vice president of a major corporation to follow the lead that he felt in his spirit. Um, was con con was con confirmed by a friend out in California saying it would be a great job. I, I am a minister. And that's what the Lord had called me home to do, was to uh, be a minister. He said, well, the ministry didn't change, the platform had. And uh, one of the best decisions I made when I decided to talk with Mr. Curry and, and accept a position as an assistant coach here at UAPB, since joining the coaching staff, Coleman has made an impact on not only the players he's mentored, but with the community that felt so compelled to serve. You would all say that he's a man of integrity, he's the ultimate role model, and a person that practices what they preach. Now what I mean by practice what they preach is, when he first took over in uh, 2007, he preached family, family, family. And, and we were truly a family, and I can remember a story that uh, one of the linebackers, Anton Williams, 2006, he started calling Coach Coleman my daddy. And I'm talking about it took off around the whole team. Even the coaches started calling me uh, uh, his son. And that's the kind of relationship me and him actually had was a father and son relationship. And even in the papers, he would refer to me as his son, which I thought was crazy. And to this day, uh, he still treats me that way. When I think of Monty Coleman, I think about a servant's heart. Uh, since I first have met him, uh, it's always impressed me that here is a man who has been in the national spotlight. He's had all kinds of accomplishments and equal recognitions, but yet he's always willing to serve people without the need for fanfare. That is impressive to me about him. Um, I think about in the context of our church, in the context of our worship, he's always serving someone. He's always helping someone. He's always willing to lend guidance or to encourage someone who is in need. Coleman takes little credit for the success of the Golden Lion football team, instead giving all credit to the coaches, his staff, and his student athletes. Team, uh, this, it's, it's not a selfish thing for me. Uh, we, we, we have a team that, that worked hard. It, it was 110 degrees a lot of days. They never complained. They went out and they worked. We get up at, at 5 in the morning. They're up at 5 in the morning. They're working hard. Uh, all the things that, the tangible things that led to this championship, that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud to be a part of a group of guys that banded together and said, we're going to do it, coach. We believe in ourselves. We believe in the coaching staff. We believe in this team. 
And that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud. Join us tonight in honoring Coach Monty Coleman for his coaching excellence, unwavering enthusiasm, and athletic leadership as exemplified by the Golden Lion football team winning the 2012 Southwestern Athletic Conference Championship.